Complicated cataract is a frequent short note for undergraduate examinations. Complicated cataract occurs following intraocular pathology, intraocular inflammations, anterior, intermediate and posterior uveitis are the most common causes. Common causes include inflammatory conditions, especially uveal inflammations which are the commonest cause such as iridocyclitis, pars planitis, choroiditis, Fuchs heterochromic iridocyclitis and sympathetic ophthalmitis. Also hypopion corneal ulcer or perforated corneal ulcers and endophthalmitis. Degenerative conditions like degenerative myopia, retinitis pigmentosa and others such as gyrate atrophy of choroid, essential iris atrophy etc. Long-standing retinal detachment. Long-standing glaucoma of any type. Glaucom flecken following acute angle closure and absolute glaucoma. Anterior segment ischemia. Intraocular tumors such as retinoblastoma, malignant melanoma, ciliary body tumors, etc. This list is not exhaustive, but knowing these causes is enough. Any disturbance in the intraocular fluids on which the lens depends for nutrition can result in cataract formation such as disturbance of ocular circulation, metabolic and osmotic disturbances in the aqueous, presence of toxic products of inflammation, use of corticosteroids and lenticular opacification may also form in areas of posterior synecae. The clinical picture, a complicated cataract is usually a posterior subcapsular cataract. This results in significant visual disability because of its situation near the nodal point of the eye in the form of diminished visual acuity, glare, diminished contrast sensitivity and difficulty in reading. Breadcrumb appearance is seen on sit lamp examination, a polychromatic luster that is a characteristic rainbow display of colors may be seen and amblyopia can occur if the diagnosis of a complicated cataract has been missed in a child with active uveitis as in juvenile rheumatoid arthritis. A thorough evaluation is required in a complicated cataract. Detailed history regarding the duration of visual disability, the presence of other symptoms of the causative pathology and their duration and treatment history particularly the use of corticosteroids. Detailed ocular examination in the form of best corrected visual acuity that is the best possible vision that can be obtained with refractive correction. Pupillary reactions to rule out a relative afferent pupillary defect or REPD that could suggest a retinal or optic nerve involvement. Slit lamp examination for active uveitis along with gonioscopy for status of the angle of anterior chamber to look for presence of neovascularization of the iris and for sequelae of chronic uveitis such as synecae, inflammatory membranes, etc. Intraocular pressure measurement for evidence of secondary glaucoma, fundus examination for status of retina and OCT for evaluation if any findings are present. B-scan ultrasonography for posterior segment pathology especially if the fundus is not visualized. Definitive treatment consists of surgical removal of the cataractus lens and insertion of a posterior chamber intraocular lens. Precautions for surgery in a complicated cataract, especially if the cataract has followed an inflammatory pathology. If the cataract has occurred following uveitis, then a flare-up of the inflammation can be expected following the surgery and so the use of perioperative, topical or systemic steroids has to be planned. Surgery on cataracts due to uveitis should be done after controlling the inflammation for at least 3 months, the exception being lens-induced uveitis when it should be performed as soon as the inflammation is controlled. A single piece acrylic IOL is the most suitable in terms of reduction of complications such as post-op cystoid macular edema and posterior capsular opacification. Hemorrhage from the iris can occur when there is neovascularization of the iris such as in Fuchs heterochromic iridocyclitis and a guarded visual prognosis has to be given to the patient and an informed consent for the same should be taken prior to surgery. Following surgery for post-inflammatory cataract, there is higher incidence of posterior capsular opacification, 
glaucoma, post-op iridocyclitis and macular edema.